The world's best Arctic fighters. The Norwegian Reconnaissance Squadron is an elite force only a few people would even consider. And out of those who do, only 1% make it through their selection. These guys are specialists at operating behind enemy lines for long periods of time. They're trained to go unnoticed in any terrain and to be completely independent. They're also the Norwegian Force's best climbers. Just to give you an idea of how tough this unit really is, earlier this year they went on a mission where they spent 44 days outside in down to minus 30 degrees in some of the harshest Arctic conditions you can imagine, without any supplies and without being told how long the mission would last. This is a screened unit, meaning their identity has to remain a secret, and no media has ever been allowed in. Not until now, as I'm about to join the world's best Arctic fighters on a mission above the Arctic Circle and behind enemy lines. Okay, Magnus, yeah. welcome to uh, Norwegian uh, Military Intelligence Battalion. Today, you are going to visit the Long Range Reconnaissance uh, Squadron, the LERPs, and uh, do a mission with them. A climbing mission, I've heard. A climbing mission, <laughs> a bit different from uh, what you are uh, normally doing. Yeah. And I guess when we get you geared up, yeah. it will be uh, odds even. Your patrol has yeah. been tasked to support the rescuing of a uh, downed pilot behind enemy lines. Mm -hmm. The pilot, his uh, last uh, known position is in the area of East Indon, here. So the mission is to rescue the pilot who should be somewhere in the area of East Hind. We'll be transported into enemy's territory by car, where we get dropped off and have to make our way up the mountain as quickly as possible and unnoticed by the enemy. As soon as we have the pilot, we'll call for a helicopter to come fly us out. Questions? <laughs> <laughs> I, no, 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 no questions. The guys will take care of you. Should I be aware of the surroundings? Like look around, do, I, do we need to be ready to... Because now we're behind enemy lines. Yeah, we just got a sit update from um, our base. They have intelligence that says that there are enemy forces moving mm -hmm. towards our position. And they're probably looking for the pilot as well. And we also have to be quick. Right. Yeah, yeah, we have to uh, pick up the pace, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> I mean, I don't, these backpacks are like 35 kilos and that's no, no exaggeration. So, like we measured them before. My legs aren't that strong. I already feel it a little bit, but I'm going to try to keep up with you guys. How do we move without being noticed in this terrain? Because that's your kind of specialty, yeah, right? Uh, well, we try to stay in the low terrain uh, unless we have like concealment in the in the fog and stuff like that and as you can see around us now the fog is coming in so that's good for us mm -hmm. luckily we're being uh, picked up by a helicopter at the top that's for me that's really the highlight <laughs> i've never been in a helicopter before so uh but first we need to find the fire jet pilot yeah that's priority number one, number one. riding the helicopter that's yeah. <laughs> priority number two These guys have like a crazy high pace and I've been told that I should look for enemies to the left. So the guy in the front, he's looking straight ahead. I'm looking to the left. The guy behind me is looking to the right. Uh, but I'm like, I'm too out of breath to even like, I feel like uh, my sight is kind of blurry. Uh, but it's really exciting. If we keep this pace for much longer, I have to ask them if we can take a little bit little break. The fire jet pilot uh, needs to wait, otherwise I'm gonna die on the way up here. And it's, it was crazy, we left like 1 a.m., didn't sleep at all. We were supposed to sleep for like an hour, but I couldn't fall asleep. And we have very little food with us, and uh, we're just gonna try to do this as quickly as possible, get in, get out. Uh, and these guys are crazy fit, and. We're soon about to like get our harness on and start actually climbing 
and uh, I think that's gonna be really spectacular but it's a very different climbing that I'm used to these backpacks are around 35 kilos so that's about half my body weight and uh, I don't know how I'm gonna climb with that and also with boots <laughs> this like these are very different from my usual Drago climbing shoes I've done a lot of hard shit lately, but this is hard in just a different way. Just never ending. We've been hiking, hiking, hiking for hours. We thought we we're at the top and uh, we we're just halfway. So uh, the last few hours we've just been hiking, but it's super hot right now. Running low on water. Uh, but now it looks like we're gonna climb the ridge finally. And uh, I've kind of stopped looking for enemies, to be honest. I just feel like, yeah, if there are any enemies in the area, they're gonna deal with it. So, I mean, I'm not focusing on myself right now. <laughs> Need to save the pilot. I think this is gonna take me some time to recover from. Like, right now it feels like my batteries are really low and I know that the mission has just started, so. I'm a little bit worried. I saw you got like an update on the... Uh, as of now, the entire operation, Operation Meatballs, is uh, depending operation on... Operation Meatballs. <laughs> Who made that name? Uh, might have been me. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's critical for us to get to the pilot as soon as possible. As you can see in front of us, we have a really uh, narrow and steep um, ridge line. Mm. That's our only way through. It's super exposed. We're exposed to uh, like the elements, rocks and stuff, but also from being spotted by the enemy. Mm. What happens if we get like shot at during our climb? Do we, uh, what is it called, return fire? Or yeah, we, yeah, we will shoot back. Shoot back, okay, yeah. Because uh, we're pretty vulnerable on that yeah, ridge. It's, it's gonna be a shit storm if we get in contact on the ridge. Yeah. Uh, we've divided like, one full rack mm -hmm. with the, all the pros. So the yep. the nuts and the, the camps, we're gonna go as a three. Yeah. Is it a climbing helmet? So it's a we have another helmet, kind of similar, mm -hmm. which is made for uh, ballistics. Okay. So it's really heavy. Yeah. But this one is uh, a li more lightweight one. Yeah. The first person goes in front with the, yeah. all the protection, and then you, as the second person, will take it out. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, so we're not belaying each other I think it's gonna be new to a lot of people watching this type of style yeah. so basically if one of you fall I have to go low right to yeah, uh, and make sure if we fall on one side that kind of you you basically have to fall on the other <laughs> side <laughs> well, that's, that's the kind of you have to have a pretty quick reaction you know <laughs> like was it left was it right and then you just have to do it yeah and, and you'll see afterwards like uh, Maybe not using this uh -huh. these kind of pros, yeah. but just using natural just rocks, whatever you have, trees, yeah. and just put the rope in between. Yeah. Also, the the harness is camo. That was pretty cool. I've never seen that before. And uh, we're gonna climb with the backpacks, so that's what's gonna make it really challenging. I mean, this route isn't gonna be that hard in itself. We're trying to go quick, and we're trying not to be noticed, you know. So, I mean, it's a it's a different way of moving. When we get down there, we call for the helicopter. How long does that usually take for the helicopter to come? Since there's a lot of enemy in the area, mm. then it's a bigger operation. So they need multiple planes to kind of suppress the enemy okay. before they can bring in a helicopter, which is uh, an easier target. Yeah, so, so they first have to suppress the enemy's uh, air force. Air force, and, yeah. And then they can come in and save us. Yeah. No, and what sure. do we do if we don't get a helicopter? It wouldn't be the first time it happens. So <laughs> you always you always plan for an emergency plan. So mm. you always have kind of escape routes and different kinds of pickups. Yeah. 
but the pilot is I mean he's worth more than us right because he's yes yeah, so, so the, the education they get yeah and and the, yeah they're, they're jet fighter pilots so it's a very cynical way of looking at it yeah. but so it's that's how it kinda, is they're yeah. kind of pushing the five of us to help get him out and yeah and that's our mission so we just have to make follow, the mission. follow the mission yeah. So you guys uh, sore at all? I don't think uh, my legs know what they've been up to yet. So <laughs> okay. Maybe I'll, I'll feel it later. But yeah. Well, you were leading the way uh, the whole way. Pretty high pace. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I thought you'd dig it. What it, so you're looking for the pilot. Is he gonna give you like a signal or is it like what are you looking for? Uh, yeah, well, I'm looking for a single person, but if he sees us, he'll confirm it with a smoke or a flare. Mm. But uh, I'm trying to scan to see him because he should be in the area. Do you know what uh, color he was, he's wearing? He should be wearing a flight suit. Yeah, I think I got him. Yeah, it's right by the edge there. Do you have a way of calling him or do we just need to go down there and check? Uh, I think we'll try to get closer before we do anything else. Okay. Try not to be, be called out by the enemy. Once with the glacier, so white. So All white. That's why we brought our uh, white cam. Okay. Uh, so for the pants. Yeah. Hair as well, and then for our helmets, everything. Everything's so white. Try and like blend into the glacier. Yeah. So what's the plan now? The guy's up there, right? The pilot is up there somewhere. We we think we saw something mm -hmm. up on the, the the other ridge line up there. Yeah. So uh, we just got a report about increased hostile uh, activity. activity in the area. Yeah. So we have to be extra careful, right? So uh, we're gonna switch to the the white clothes. Yeah. So the the white cams, mm -hmm. uh, top and bottoms. Well, well, I guess we have no time to waste. No time to waste. So yeah. let's get changed. Is that smoke? That's him. That's the pilot, right?
filter, uh, heat you up, give you some warm fluids. Have you heard anything about the helicopter? Uh, yeah, so I just got the news. So we have to make the way down ourselves? Yeah, we need to walk down ourselves. So uh, we need to get out of very fast. Oh man. Finally, we've been walking on snow for hours and we've, now we've been out for, I think it's close to 35 hours without sleep, with hardly any food. I feel really low on energy and this is so different from all the other challenges that I've done. Like I don't even have energy to, like on the way down I didn't have energy to talk to the camera and it's just... I don't know, I, I feel like I'm completely empty right now and I don't know, it's just this backpack is so annoying, you know? Did I mention that it's 35 kilos? I think I've mentioned that like 20 times already. Evan, you told me something funny earlier about uh, the warmest piece of clothing in NATO. Yeah. What is it? You wanna know what it is? <laughs> well, it's this piece of kit right here. <laughs> it's a backpack. Yeah. Would you call this uh, operation successful? So far? Uh, yeah, I'd say it's been... Uh... Oh, it's out. Did you guys know that we were gonna get shot at today? Or was that a surprise? It's always a surprise. Uh, I mean, you never know if you're gonna meet enemies. When you get tired uh, on your way down, coming from the mountain, uh, or you're going to your pickup point, yeah, that's when you start like getting really unfocused, uh. and so kind of have to be switched on the whole yeah. time. And I guess it's smart of them to test you. Uh, at the end of a uh, yeah, mission like this, for sure. uh, when so, you're tired, and because they test your reflexes, I guess. Like, yeah, oh, so, yeah. and and now that's we're trained to like, if we hear that we're getting shot at, mm. something just turns on. Yeah, you're yelling, adrenaline starts pumping. No matter how tired you are, you don't want to get killed, right? So you yeah. shoot back and you do your best. So I was actually instructed to not shoot if we. Uh, uh, had any contact. I was just directed to just uh, stay put and uh, yeah, follow the instructions. So uh, I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not definitely not gonna look like a hero in that shot. <laughs> Is there anything we could have done better? I mean, we, we ended up in a, in a contact with the enemy. That's okay. Not, never good, but, uh... We managed as well and we got was out defeated. Of yeah, for sure. I'm just super excited. <laughs> I'm just super excited for the pizza. Yeah. You've been telling me about the pizza and uh, my mouth gets like watery just from saying that word. It's uh, it's been very little food and water and I don't know how you guys do this, like not every day but quite often. Yeah, you get more and more used to it every time you do it. Yeah. Yeah, so um, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe as always. And I uh, will see you next time.